Hello everyone. Good morning. First of all, warm welcome to OIC training by Unokeeps. In this video, I'm going to show you how to uh, set up and configure a Twitter adapter in OIC. So we'll see how to set up a Twitter adapter in this video in OIC. And in the next few videos, I'll show you how you can uh, tweet a message from OIC or retweet a message. And I'll also show you how to get a trending topics uh, for a given place. So we'll see the, uh, see this. Uh, in the next few videos. In this one, we'll see how to configure a Twitter adapter. So to configure a Twitter adapter, you need to have a developer account with Twitter. So uh, it will not, having a normal Twitter account will not be sufficient. Yeah, it might help you to log into Twitter, but, and, and it might also help you to apply for a developer account. So for you to be able to use a Twitter API, you need to have a developer account created with Twitter. Uh, and you can do that by accessing this URL. So access this URL, go to browser and paste this, paste this URL in. It will direct you to sign into Twitter first. And in case you are signed in already, okay, in case you are signed in, it will not prompt you. In case you have not signed in, it will, uh, it will direct, redirect you to a sign in page. Oh, let me show you from there. Let me just sign out. Let me copy this URL and sign in back again. So if you try to access the developer at uh, twitter dot uh, twitter dot com, it will direct you to sign in. And you can enter the username and password. And click on login. And when you access this URL, in case you do not have a developer account, in case you do not have a developer account, it will not bring you to the developer portal. Instead, it will direct you to a page wherein it will ask you to apply for a new developer account. And you might also need to fill in, uh, fill in or answer a few questions uh, like, like how do you intend to use the developer account? Why is it that you're creating it in first place, etc.? So just fill in those questions uh, and submit it and confirm your email address. And once you're done with it, an account will be created for you, a developer account, and you will be redirected to this developer portal. And once you're here, you need to uh, create. So uh, the, the reason why we came here in first place is if you want to configure a Twitter adapter in OIC, so for example, if you go to connections and try to create a new connection with a Twitter adapter, let's call it, you know, it's Twitter connection. And you can only use it as an invoke. Create it. And you see that you have to enter a four keys here. You have to enter the API key and the API secret. This is, this is a consumer key and a consumer secret. So this is a specific to the consumer. And you also need to enter the access token and a secret. So you need to enter four keys here to successfully connect to the Twitter account. And to get these four keys, you need to have a developer account and uh, yeah, you can get it uh, by using this URL. And then once you're here, you can go to standalone applications and you can create a new application to get these, uh, to get these keys. Okay, so click on create application and you can say, you know, geeks OIC application completed. And once you do that, uh, you will have a set of keys generated and you will be able to see the keys and tokens. So you can copy them. Let's copy the API key. And this is API key. You will have to generate your own keys here uh, instead of copying mine. Anyways, I'm going to be, uh, I'm going to uh, deactivate or delete the application. So this will not help. 
So the first one is API key and the second one is API secret key. And copy these two because uh, if you if you don't copy them now, you will not be able to retrieve them again. You will have to regenerate them, but you cannot get these current keys again. And click on go click on app settings after that, and you will see uh, app permissions option. And by default, it will be a read only, which means you can only read the tweets and profile information with the help of uh, 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 Twitter API. So if you use uh, invoke Twitter API with these keys, you will only be able to read the tweets, but we want to tweet a message as well. And, and we also want to retweet a message, right? So for that, you need to change the permissions, edit the permissions and change this to read and write. Okay, so uh, this permission will let uh, the Twitter adapter with these keys configured to, to be able to read and write posts on Twitter account. Okay, save this. Yes, I want to change the permissions. It, it'll ask you to confirm. Confirm, And after that, you can, you can enable open authorization if required, that's okay. And go to keys and tokens. And in here, you need to get the access token and secret for you know, geeks. So this will be your uh, account level keys. So these uh, keys that you have taken here are uh, specific to the API, okay, or consumer keys. So, okay, so this is like your, your username and it is typically used to verify who you are to Twitter. And uh, these are the access tokens. And by default, they will not be generated. So you click on generate and they will give you access tokens. Copy the access token. Paste it in there. And then copy access secret token. And paste, copy the copy the access secret token. And then click on yes, I saved them. So we need these four keys to be able to connect to connect to the Twitter account from OIC. So let's enter these keys here. Enter the API key, enter API secret key, enter access token, ensure that you copy the full token and copy the access secret token. And once you key in all of them, click on test. And you could see that the uh, Twitter connection is tested successfully. And we can go back and save the connection. So now we have a Twitter connection configured successfully. And in the next video, we'll see how to use this Twitter, uh, use this Twitter connection to uh, tweet a message. Okay, so we'll accept, we will build a REST API, which will accept a message uh, that, that needs to be tweeted. And in that REST API, we're going to invoke this Twitter connection and we will uh, tweet the message into the you know, Geeks Twitter account. Okay, so this is how you configure the Twitter adapter in OIC. I've listed down the steps here in case you want to uh, follow, follow, follow along. Okay. Thank you very much for watching this video, guys. In case you are interested in Oracle Integration Cloud Training offered by UnoGeeks, please call us on this number seven three nine six zero double three triple five, or send us an email uh, on info at Thank you.